the patented YouTube car singing in the vlog. Yo, 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 what up, PVR Life fans? It's your boy Brandon, aka Yellow Jesus, checking back in with you guys. So, right now, I'm on my way to go pick up my cousin and his girl. They just got back from their tour of the Grand Canyon. We're about to go see how they enjoyed their trip. Come on, guys, let's get it. They're back. Hello. What's up, guys? I got sick. Oh, yeah? What's up, Big Day? Did you get sick too? No. No? There's this guy in the bathroom at a Chili's in Utah. He was having trouble with his poop. So he started asking me for help. All right, I'll show PVR the light. <laughs> it was so funny. And he kept asking me to help him poo and he was like, oh, I won't get out. I don't know, I'm not gonna look at that guy. I ran out of that bathroom as soon as I heard some guy screaming and asking me for help. I'm not gonna stay in there. Tell PVR Life some interesting things that happened besides that. Yes, yeah, so this is from getting beat in Las Vegas. So right now we just picked up Little Horse Dragon and Day Day. We're about to go back to the crib and <coughs> take a power nap. Shall we head down to the real Los Angeles? Not the Chinatown Los Angeles? I don't know, I still have to go home though. Yeah. Because I have to take a shower. Yeah, that's fine. We'll watch friends. Alright PBR Life fans, we'll catch you guys at the crib. How you guys doing out there in the world? Right now, I want to show you guys a very special gift I got from my good cousin and his beautiful girlfriend, Day Day. When is the wedding date? Never. Who's gonna be your best man, me or Dr. Monkey? Oh, that's even a better, tougher question for you. It's a good question. You gotta pick your brother though. Your brother takes care of you a lot, so yeah. you should definitely have Dr. Monkey be your yeah. best man. I'll be a groomsman. We'll have a good bachelor's party. Yeah. At the Bliss. <laughs> You gotta remove that. I'm keeping that in the video. Right on. So I'll show PVR Life this cool gift that Max and Day Day got for me. It's a... Three different types of leather. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. So this is Coach. You're not a true baller unless you rock Coach. Alright guys, so right now we're about to go to dinner. Where? I don't know. Little Horse Dragon is kind of sick right now. But we're gonna go find him some medicine, get some food. That's about it guys. So we'll see you guys at the next spot. Alright, we'll right, PBR Life fans, listen to this. What a silence. We have just arrived at our dessert destination. Have you ever had blue balls before, Little Horse Dragon? No. Well, guess what? You're about to have black balls. Let's get it. Alright, we're about to enter here and see what's good. <laughs> Being a man now, I'm making choices. This is like popcorn soup. I ate this in Korea. Change of plans. You guys aren't having black balls tonight. You're having Korean something. Bingsu. Korean Bingsu Cafe. All right, we'll check it out and see what's good in here. We got mango Bingsu. We got to our dinner destination. Day Day and Little Horse Dragon are gonna join us later. Check it out. This place is called Garden Bistro. It's here in Diamond Plaza on Roland Heights. It says Italian Asian eatery, so I'm about to scope out the menu and see what's good. So this place, they have like an interesting mix of food. They have like uh, pasta, seafood, hot pot, Chinese wok fried cuisine, Chinese seafood dishes, chow mein. Man, they got everything. Fried rice. I'm trying to find some Chinese pizza. So. We got black truffle fries for an appetizer, and I got choose your own poor topping pizza with chicken, mushroom, ham, and black olives. Those four. If you guys don't know, I'm a big pizza fan. That's my favorite food. If I was gonna have a last meal on earth, it would include pizza. I've never tried pizza from this place. I've never been to this place, so it'll be an interesting experience. Yeah, I have to be straight. It's just some kind of bread. Let's try it out. It tastes like. Bread. Bust it out. <laughs> oh man. Looks pretty good. Looks like carrot juice. You guys are about to witness greatness. Cheers. <laughs> Let me try a little bit. <laughs> 
good flavor. Tastes like mango. Translation. They're not allowed us to take food inside. Oh. So what are we supposed to do? Take it outside? Or he says it's fine. He says okay. What would you give it on a scale of 1 to 10? 6, 7. That's pretty good though. And that means it's got repeatability. But that's a B or a C though. Exactly. What would make it a B or an A? Me not being sick. Probably would have been better if I wasn't sick. A lot of how you, I think how you judge food is based on how you're feeling, not but the actual food. Isn't that a big part of it though? The aesthetic, the display, the environment. When I judge food, I go by the taste, how it tastes to me. When you had that Korean food, you were like, if I wasn't so hungry, it'd be a B or a C or something, <laughs> like a yeah. seven. And now you were like, if I wasn't sick, it'd be... <laughs> It might be a weird name. <laughs> I know your game plan. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> you know, I can't say anything bad about these places. They'll sue me. No, they won't. So, the fries came out. These are the black truffle fries. They taste like regular french fries to me. Not it's not all bad. good though. They're not bad. The main course has just got here. So this is the pizza. Check how big it is. So this is a pizza, smaller than I expected. We'll taste it and see how it is. If you guys know me, I'm not a big food guy. I really don't care about food that much. It tastes like pizza to me. I mean, nothing special about it. I'm gonna enjoy this meal and I'll see you guys soon. If I get sick, I'm suing you for your iMac. It ain't my fault. All right, PVR life fans, about to go to CVS, get some medicine for these sick people, sick man of Asia. So we just got back to the crib, about to hop on 2K as you can see behind me, traveling to Old Town. We're about to get it in, try to get on some streaks. We'll catch you guys soon. Today's a Friday, got the club going up on a Friday. So right now we just got to our last meal destination, it's called Broth. Never been here before. It looks interesting. Him and Day Day are sick. About to go in here, check it out, maybe get them some soup, and then head back to Long Beach Airport, drop them off, and they'll be back in the bay in no time. All right, PVR Life fans, so my meal just got here. We're inside a broth, a little small restaurant. Check it out, I got turkey rice with some soup. show you what little horse dragon got when his food comes out here. What is that? It's a pearl milk tea with 25% sugar. Never get 25% sugar, way too bitter. Little horse dragon, tell PBR life what you got. I forget. This chicken forgot what he got. I'll show you guys what it looks like anyway. Looks interesting. I'll let him enjoy his meal, I'm gonna enjoy mine, and then I'll see you guys at the next spot. Oh. Stumbling, never would I tumble. Fall from grace, I'm one of them under celebrated greats. Under the influence of the world, the snow cruise on the step of the plane. Switch a few lanes like Jay and Jermaine. Um, Killing me to get to the grave sites and piss and shit. Always be prepared. Give PBR life a positive message. Stay in school. Follow your dreams. If you believe it, you can achieve it. You gotta drop them off at the Long Beach Airport. It's been real. I hope they had a good time and they learned some things. See you on the next one. We'll go to Spearmint Rhino next time. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to the PBR Life Show. This your boy, Sashu Up 3, AKA Yellow Jesus, signing off with Little Horse Dragon and Day Day. I hope they feel better. Peace. I'm on my way home from dropping Little Horse Dragon off at the Long Beach Airport. On the way home, my phone died, so I didn't have GPS and I don't have a paper map in my glove compartment. So I was trusting my instincts and I made the wrong move. 
I ended up near the real chicken's home in Westminster, home of the Vietnamese coffee shops. So I got back on the 405 North and then I switched over to the 605 North and then I think I should have stayed on the 605 but I ended up getting on the 5 North and I ended up near downtown Los Angeles, man. Got off on Santa Fe and then drove through local for a minute until I found this 60 East. I know how to get home from here but it's just gonna take a minute. It's gonna take about an hour and five minutes now so it's pretty stupid. I use this as a lesson that in life you need a GPS. If you don't have GPS you're screwed. Very important to know directions. I tried to trust my instincts and my instincts failed me a little bit but that goes to show you how much we rely on GPS nowadays electronics. I don't have a spare battery or a car charger on me, which is pretty dumb. That's why I'm in this position. So the moral of the story is make sure your phone's charged or have a spare battery or a car charger. All my PPR life fans, if, you, if you're thinking about moving to Los Angeles, check out LA traffic. Streets is real out here. I'm on the 60 East near Monterey Park right now. It's a slow death. I don't know how people sit in this traffic for like more than an hour every day to go to work and go home from work, man. I couldn't do it. If I had to sit in traffic this long, I'd move closer to work, period, point blank. I could be at home grinding on 2K right now. SMH, I'm dead. I'm swagging, I'm swagging, I'm swagging on you. I'm ballin', I'm ballin', I'm ballin', I'm ballin', I'm ballin', The patented YouTube car singing in the blood.